Hey guys, Guitarman122508 here, back again with another Superman-related review. This time out, we're going to be looking at the DC Comics Multiverse Superman Doomed figure from Mattel. This is a figure that I've been looking forward to getting my hands on for a very long time. I was a fan of the Superman Doomed story arc. I thought it dragged on maybe three or four issues too long, but overall I enjoyed it. This is a figure that is relatively hard to find, or at least in my area. Uh, you can find him on eBay and Amazon, but I'm the kind of guy that likes to get it in hand. I don't like waiting for things to ship, and sometimes you take a bit of a gamble on paint applications for some figures. It could be a really bad paint job, a lot of quality control issues. So I like to make sure that I get these in hand, that way I can inspect them personally. Now I had to go and buy a second one because I like to keep my multiverse figures in the package, but that's alright, I managed to find another one, so let's take a look at the one that I have in the package, and then we'll take a look at the one that I have out of the package. So on the front you can see here, you can see the uh, display window, the same red multiverse box that we've been seeing for this entire series. We have a picture of... Uh, Superman Doomed, which is Superman as like, he gets infected with a doomsday virus. Uh, this is by uh, Aaron Cooter. That's the artist for that. And this is part of the New 52 Collect and Connect Doomsday. So I am gradually getting my, my hands on all of those pieces. And here we have a little bit of a read-up on Superman Doomed, so let's get a little bit of a close-up on that for you. Okay, it says Superman Doomed, real name, Clark Kent, base of operations, Metropolis. When he destroys the evil Doomsday, Superman is infected with a virus that causes him to mutate and take on Doomsday-like characteristics. So let's flip over to the back of the box. And here you can see the other figures in this wave. We have Armored Batman, Robin, and the Mutant Leader from the Dark Knight Returns graphic novel by Frank Miller. I'm just going to end up buying the uh, pieces separately for that because I'm, one, not a big collector of Batman stuff. I like Batman, it's just I collect a lot of Superman stuff and collecting Batman would just make everything a little bit more cramped in my room. Also, I'm not a big fan of The Dark Knight Returns. I thought it was just okay. And also in this wave we have Prison Lex Luthor, Supergirl from the TV series, and this figure you're looking at right now. Now here is the Doomsday figure. I have almost all the parts. I just need to get this arm, the torso, and I think this leg, and then I will be able to do a review of the New 52 Doomsday. On this side, nothing else. Multiverse. Bottom. Legal stuff. So let's take a look at this figure. And here he is out of the packaging. As you can see, he is pretty menacing looking. Uh, it took me a while to get him to stand. He, yeah, you're, he's not one of those figures that, uh, Stands very well on his own, so I'm going to just give you a uh, a hand-done rotation. I like this figure overall. I think the sculpting is pretty well done on this figure, especially on the face and the suit. I like these bony protrusions that were in the, the storyline. I have a couple quality control issues on this figure, and I didn't notice them. Of course, I couldn't see this one when I was buying it, but there's a bit of black paint smearing on this uh, cape right here. Not too bad, because I'm not going to really be looking at that when I display him, but there is a blue spot right on this boot, and I tried to get it off, and it's not coming off. Of course, right here, they seem to have a lot of problem getting the uh, the paint exactly right on these belts, so there's a little bit of uh, overspill on the blue onto this belt. Uh, the symbol looks good, and that's, that's always a plus. For some reason, both of the Dark Knight Returns Superman figures I found, there was uh, like a scuff on the S, and I didn't see them until after I had bought them, so that was more my misfortune than anything. Taking a closer look at the face, you can see that there's a lot of detail put into this. There's a lot of nice work on the shading on this figure. You got the, uh, the yellow of the teeth, you got the white of the bones, you get some red in the eyes, really menacing looking. And of course the suit is just the standard blue. Uh, this is going after the New 52 style of suit that they had taken on when the story had taken place. There really isn't that much to say about this figure. It's pretty much a bulked up version of the New 52 Superman with uh, some seemingly recycled parts from other figures. I think this piece right here, they might have used the same mold and then just sculpted this belt on here. It looks like it's a, a recycled piece, yeah, because it's got the rubbery feel. Uh, it might be the same piece that they had used for the shorts for the Dark Knight Returns Superman and maybe even the Batman. Uh, they got some pretty cool work here on the claws for Doomsday, or Super Doom rather. Not bad. Articulation is pretty standard on this guy. Head turns barely, actually. Yeah, no, that's, that's not going to go much anyway. Uh, 
can barely turn left and right. Can kind of look down. That's all you're really going to get out of that. You got a rotation of the arm, a little bit of a bicep rotation. Bend at the elbow, single joint. You got rotation at the wrist. And uh, you got this pretty decent crunching right here for the uh, the abs. I don't know how, yeah, it doesn't really crunch back too great. You can do the splits about that much. You can kick forward about that much and back that much. You got a bend at the knee just slightly. I don't know if it's just this joint or not. It's kind of uh, shoddy right there. And then you have a little bit of uh, ankle movement. Not much. Not a lot to this figure. It looks good. It looks really good. Uh, majority of my problems with it stem from the few quality control issues and uh, just the fact that it doesn't stand very well. Now moving on to the Collect and Connect piece. We have the, uh, the I think this is the right arm. Yeah, this would be Doomsday's right arm. Uh, yeah, it's just a standard Collect and Connect piece. You got a bicep swivel. Uh, bend at the elbow, and then you have rotation at the wrist. So uh, when I get all these pieces, I will put Doomsday together, and I will do a review of that. So hopefully that's really soon. I don't know why these figures are really hard to find, but they are. This is one of the most difficult waves that I've ever had to uh, hunt down, and I've been hunting for quite a while. So once again, we have the Multiverse Superman Doomed action figure from Mattel. If you like what you see here, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to listen to me talk about Superman for an hour, hour and a half, check out the Up, Up, and Away podcast. We're available through iTunes and Podomatic, as well as through Facebook. And check out my new show that I'm doing with my buddy. It's called Collector's Coalition. We're available through SoundCloud, Podomatic, iTunes, and right here on YouTube. So uh, I will see you guys next time.